Hello dear Capricorn and welcome to Divine Debut. This is Cafe speaking. Thank you so much for being here. This is your June 1st until your June 15th of 2020 general and love reading. And I am doing a nine card spread. Uh, this time I will be doing the astrology portion separate as there is a lot going on in the month of June. So let's have a look at your love and general tarot reading. Let's have a look. As we've got an eclipse, we've got retrogrades, there's a lot going on. Let's have a look at the main issue and we've got the Ace of Pentacles here. So dear Capricorn, you have been trying to build on something, the potential is here. Hangman, the hangman is Pisces, there has been a hold up in the past. We've got the Page of Cups, more Piscean energy, so Capricorn, you may be dealing with someone who's got strong Pisces in their chart. We know that the Page of Cups could be an offer of love that's come in the past. This could also be an apology. Now we've got the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords could be an Aquarius, Gemini or Libra. We've got the Two of Cups right here, which is a love relationship, a very strong connection. We've got the Six of Pentacles. So there is more Earth here now. Your Earth, so you could be dealing with an Earth sign. could be a Virgo, um, Queen of Swords and the Earth here. We know that um, sometimes Virgo can be quite a logical sign, but there's heavy Earth, that's why I'm saying Virgo also has Pisces as their seventh house of relationships. So five of pentacles. And we've got the nine of cups, which is a wish fulfillment. And we've got the five of cups. Interesting. I think it was, um, was it Scorpio that had the five of cups? Actually, Scorpio had exactly... The Five of Cups in this position and the Five of Pentacles in this position. So you may be dealing with a Scorpio, of course. Sun, Moon or Rising. We've also got the Moon here. Now this is the Llewellyn Tarot. So it's something that I, it's a deck that I've had for a long time. And I thought I would use it for fresh energy. So the Moon can speak of fears, things that have been hidden. This is the Psyche. This is going deep. Okay, this can also speak of strong intuition. The Hermit, which is Virgo, and I've just been mentioning Virgo. Now, I also mentioned that Scorpio had the same cards in the same position. Scorpio can mean transformation. It can mean intimate relationships, whether it's emotional or physical. So I do feel with the Hermit card here that a lot of you could be dealing with a Virgo. Um, also, I'm going to say that Scorpio could also be strong in your chart. We've got the Queen of Pentacles right here, which is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And we know that the Queen of Pentacles is a mother. She's also someone that's very stable, someone who works very hard. Okay. Now, we've got the Queen of Swords, you had the Queen of Pentacles as well. As I was saying, if you are dealing with a Virgo, or it could be an air sign, could be a Gemini, let's say, Queen of Swords, this is someone who speaks very truthfully, okay? And I feel that you've been dealing with someone with a hanging man, Pisces, maybe it was something hidden, maybe it was a love triangle, maybe it was an unconditional love relationship. A page of Cups could be an offer, but this could also be an apology. I would say more than likely it was an offer that came in, but the Queen of Swords, sometimes her words can be quite cutting, and that's where I feel that the problem lies as she may, and we know that the Queen of Swords is someone that's been through her own issues. So she 
doesn't show much emotion. She's all about the facts. Same as the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles is more earthly. She's very calculated. She is not a water sign, let's say. So I feel here that there may have been an imbalance in relationship. We've got the Two of Cups right here, which, you know, having the hangman and the Two of Cups can say that this has been a difficult relationship, a hidden relationship. Maybe one person was giving more than the other as there was no, there was no balance here. So at some point, maybe there was. At some point, you may have gone through a, a time where there was. This logically is now, in the now position. This would be the future, as is this area here. And I'm not reading reversals. So I'm saying at some point, there would have been equal giving and receiving, reciprocity. But I feel that there was a back and forth here. The issue is a commitment, something stable, maybe even money issues. And there is a wish fulfillment here with the Nine of Cups. Someone wanted their wish granted. They wanted commitment. They wanted equality. But with the Queen of Swords, who is someone that is, they've either been hurt before and they're not showing up as being emotional, or there was an offer that was cut out for whatever reason, as it was not maybe balanced. You do end up with a Five of Cups here, which is the card that you're going out with. But we've got two fives and we've got the Wish card in, in between, which is saying one person may have been more materialistic, more looking at the physical aspect of the relationship as there was no emotional security here, I would say. There was a... Someone was not spiritually ready for this connection and they needed to grow. That's what I feel because Pisces is very spiritual but it's also wearing those rose-colored glasses and therefore there was no, there was no celebration here. That's the view from this person. That's what they see, that things did not work out well and they're thinking that this is over with. Let's have a look at more cards. Let's look at your love with the Mirror's Love Oracle. At, as I was saying, at some point there was reciprocity, but then something happened. Maybe the Queen of Swords was too harsh with her words. Maybe the truth was a hard subject as with a moon card here we know that the truth can be hidden we've got family because we've got the two of cups here I'm going to say that some of you may have felt as though this person was part of your family we've got the courting man and the courting man is the businessman this is someone who wears a suit, someone who is um, not very open with their emotions. They keep their posture, not easily opening up. He's not like the, the Knight of Cups, let's say. And we've got the Union. So I'm going to say that some of you may have been dealing with a love triangle here. We've got the family and the courting man. So I do feel as though this person, even though there's been a understanding that this person, this connection seemed like family, so it could be a soulmate connection from the past. But this person, I feel, may have been coming from a family situation. We've got the Page of Cups, which is a child. Queen of Swords may have been, there's extra layers in the tarot. I do see that, dear Capricorn, you may have been, I feel as though this is your energy mainly that you may have cut someone out of your life or you've been dealing with someone um, in the past which was very cold and very um, not showing emotion. That's what I feel here. Now, if this is your person, maybe they needed the truth. 
Maybe they found out the truth about this connection, that yes, it is a soulmate connection, but where is the potential for equality? If someone is already in a commitment, how can they give to the other person? There is an imbalance, but this relationship was a wish fulfillment. So what are we going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? What are they going to do about it? Fives always speak of change. Let's have a look at the Lenormand. We've got the love card that just fell out. We've got the garden. This is the Garden of Eden, which uh, speaks of being social. Um, this is all about teamwork, success, networks, public affairs. Let's see what else we've got. And we've got the blockage here. So I'm going to say that I do feel as though you've been, you've had blockages, yes. This relationship has been blocked. And with the garden here, I'm going to say the courting man could be a married man who may be someone that's very successful in what they do. They're successful with business, but where love is concerned, there is a block. And we've got the book here. The book can speak of secrets. Okay. And this is also a, an energy which can mean education. So this could also mean that you will be educated where things have been hidden, things have been under the surface. Okay, this is Uranus in Aquarius. And Uranus in Aquarius is all about breaking free. Um, it's also about the future. This could also be a relationship that's a married man stepped into and kept it kept it secret. And beneath that is the star card, which means a wish fulfillment, but also could also be something through the internet, so a connection through the internet. We've got the legal papers here, and we've also got the path which can mean separation, a choice, and the home. So after the home and the stability comes the choice, dear Capricorn. And here are here is the law. Okay, this is the red tape. This could mean contracts. This could mean news coming in. Maybe news that brings hope with it. And the book... Of secrets is being communicated here but the block here this is also number 21 which can mean the world so some of you are dealing with someone that is from another culture another background maybe at a distance from you and this relationship here is a relationship which has been kept secret and it's been filled with with blockages with obstacles. Let's take more cards. Someone has been soul searching, looking for the answers. No doubt here. Let's have a look at the hanging man. We've got the lovers. And yes, another sign. I'm not sure if it was Scorpio. I think it was Scorpio that they had the lovers here. Now we've got Venus. Uh, retrograding in the sign of Gemini. So yes, this is a choice of two. This is a strong love relationship. And we've got the union here, which is saying that this person is coming from a family. This person is has already, they've got a child. I don't know if they're married, but what they're wanting is something stable, something traditional. They want this relationship but they've got family issues they're dealing with, whether it's their, the family that they've created or things to do with the family. So that's what I feel here. Let's have a look at the moon first of all. We've got two cards that have opened up. We have the death card and the queen of wands. And the queen of wands is a fire, Sagittarius, Aries or Leo doesn't have to be of course we also have Scorpio Scorpio can mean connecting very 
deeply. This, these, both these cards speak of strong desire. Okay, so I would say more than likely, dear Capricorn, that the Queen of Swords, as I said, she's been through her own issues. So this could be a past partner that this courting man has been dealing with. And the Queen of Wands, which we also had the Queen of Pentacles before, if you remember, someone that was very stable, very motherly. Here we've also got desire. There is heavy desire here. And also the Queen of Wands is someone who takes action, someone who desires something, someone who's very magnetic. So dear Capricorn, I usually see the Queen of Wands as Leo, it doesn't have to be. Let's take more cards. Let's have a look at the Page of Cups. And we've got the Six of Wands. So yes, I was talking about ego before. Um, this could also mean being very successful where business is concerned. I feel as though someone wanted to apologize, but there was too much ego here. And the for some time there hasn't been communication, I would say. I do feel here that there was more reciprocity and then something happened right here. Something happened or something is going to happen. Nevertheless, fives always speak of changes. And six of pentacles, I do see it as the Libran energy, as wish it shows the scales. So this could mean that someone is wanting to find their balance, they want harmony in their life, they may need to go through legalities to do that. Let's have a look at the Ace of Pentacles, which is the potential for a commitment here. And we've got the Four of Wands. Yes, this is a wedding. Someone wants commitment here. Dear Capricorn, someone wants commitment. And they're willing to go through thick and thin with that Six of Pentacles. They're going to start reciprocating. After they've dealt with family obligations or money issues of the past. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at this Five of Pentacles. And we've got the Queen of Cups here. So many queens. So I'm going to say, dear Capricorn, that you may be dealing with someone... That is very very intuitive they could have strong Pisces or cancer I feel more Pisces and we do have also the hangman here um, I do feel that there have been secrets now because we've got cross watchers as well I feel as though um, Dear Capricorn, you've been dealing with past karmic situations. You've been trying to let go of something. Something that was very challenging and you're probably still going through it. But with the eclipses that are coming in and there's going to be an eclipse in your sign in July, I feel that that's going to have a lot to do with the clearing up of this energy. Now, yes, you may be dealing with someone that had maybe works we've got so many feminine energies here maybe they come from a family where there's a lot of women queen of cups is someone that is open emotionally someone that's very intuitive let's have a look at that five of cups here and we've got the hermit so i'm going to stick with virgo i have to stick with virgo i've mentioned it a few times the Hermit does speak of someone that is soul-searching. I do feel that more than likely, dear Capricorn, if you've been dealing with a Virgo, Sun, Moon or Rising, as we've also got Leo, okay, I believe that maybe you've left them in the cold. Some of you have been dealing with a past karmic situation that you've been trying to get rid of, whether it was family obligations, whether it was another uh, marriage or a commitment, 
that you've had a lot that you've been dealing with. And, you know, whatever you've been dealing with, because with the, the card of the garden here, this could say that you're a very successful, well-known person, okay, and you don't want to stir the pot where your personal life is concerned because you could be someone that is very recognized, someone that's quite famous, well-known. And with a hermit, this is a number nine. What comes after the hermit is the Wheel of Fortune, which is saying that karmic will is changing. It's coming to a completion. Let's take another card. And we've got the Ten of Wands, which does speak of a completion. This is having Ten Wands. Yes, this is a burden, but this is being able to see your goal as we know that the Ten of Wands turns into the Ace. Now, this could also mean that if you're dealing with a Virgo, it's been a heavy burden. You may have cut this Virgo out. I feel as though you're, you've been dealing with your own issues. I feel that this Virgo, Virgo Sun, Moon or Rising doesn't have to be, but this person has been feeling really left out in the cold. I feel as though you have got this feeling as well. You have this understanding. Now, the Nine of Cups is someone that could be drinking themselves silly because of, um, because of the issues here. But the Nine of Cups is also that wish fulfillment. There's a lot of cups here. So a lot of emotional things that you've been going through and your partner and the person you are hoping to manifest. And we've got the Magician here. Now, the Magician is Mercury. This is an ace. Yes, this is having all those potentials to make the magic that you want to start something. And Mercury is all about communication, but Mercury is also the ruling planet of Virgo and Gemini. We've got Venus retrograding in Gemini. Mercury will be going retrograde, retrograding in the sign of in the sign of Cancer. Cancer is the home, it's our lineage, it's the family, it's our emotional security. And it can be quite sensitive there too. So what I want to do is take a few Sabilas here. Yeah, so there's been a cutoff here, back to square one. We're reciprocating here. We want that certain new beginning, that stable and physical new beginning. And we want that celebration. But then with the Five of Pentacles, again, there's something that we've got to go back and deal with, which is very karmic. Let's have a look. I want to have a look at what in the middle position here. The Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. And someone may have had a commitment in the past because of marriage. So marrying into prosperity, marrying for the money, marrying because of a child. We do have the Page of Cups here. Maybe the child came first and someone got, someone had to grow up and become the elder and wiser, the parent. And with the Book of Secrets, there have been a lot. Let's have a look. We have the Vecchia Signora, which is the visitor, or this is a situation that has matured. This could be a mother figure, someone who is advising um, you. And this is a visitor in general. Messaggero, the messages come from afar. Someone is planning on traveling, and we've got the Viaggio. Someone is traveling for love. Someone is traveling. They travel for money. They work um, with, the, I mean, they, they travel for work as well. And the Viaggio does remind me of that Sagittarian energy. So I'm going to say that some of you may be dealing with someone that is from another part of the world. Could be from a mountainous area. This could be you. Doesn't have to be the other person. Let's take a look at my handwritten cards. 
and let's see what the messages are here. We have, I was wrong to doubt your love, babe. I apologize. Another seven. I got carried away. I didn't want to hurt you. It didn't mean anything. Wow. Now seven does remind me of that seven of swords. Seven is also the chariot and the chariot does deal with overcoming obstacles but things to do with the past um, and someone needing that nurturing, that mothering. Seven is also a number of conflict. It was wonderful, we had fun but I must now move on. Wow. So we've got 1422 which is a master number. So this obviously says to me here, I got carried away, I didn't want to hurt you, it didn't mean anything. That means obviously that someone stepped out. It didn't mean anything and then it was wonderful, we had fun but now I must move on. So um, someone's obviously stepped out of a committed partnership or relationship and they got caught. They got caught and someone didn't want to speak their truth. They did not want to speak truthfully. So what the card here says, it was wonderful, we had fun, but, but I now must move on. This person was not, was not truthful. They were not truthful. They had fun and now they must move on because they had their obligations. So this is really harsh energy, dear Capricorn really harsh. Now I'm going to say that the eight, this is number eight, right, which is saying that someone is leaving a situation because they did not, they moved towards their wish fulfillment. So obviously there's been a lot of lies and I feel that this is a relationship that this courting man is coming from where there were a lot of lies. There was no, there was no truth there. And I do believe that this courting man probably committed to a relationship as a business deal. So I don't feel that their heart was there. But now with the Five of Cups, I would say more than likely, because we know that the Nine of Cups is someone that can be quite smirked as they've done what they wanted to do and, you know, they're feeling very happy with themselves. I feel that this is a boomerang. I feel that this is a boomerang. I feel as though um, whoever stepped out of the marriage, whoever this courting man is, I feel as though they're the ones that went into this relationship as a business deal, but then they came into true love. And maybe they were communicated that it was wonderful, now I have to move on. Or they are communicating that to their past partnership. That could, it could go either way. It could go either way. But the magician here says to me that there is a lot about communication about things that were hidden that will be communicated, things that were not spoken of will be brought to the table. And I feel that someone is now, it could be a burden for them, but they've been soul searching as this boomerang probably was their lesson. And I feel that with these readings, there's been a lot of karmic justice coming around. Nevertheless, I do see here that someone really, they truly, they truly need this connection as we've got the Two of Cups 
we've got the lovers here we've got the love card here so there is love even though this courting man was somewhat of more about business more about finances more about how can I reach the top of that ladder someone that wasn't stopping at anything this courting man I believe was totally ruthless as they they needed the success they needed to climb that ladder and they were going to do anything that they could to to get there now I don't know if it's you or if it's the other person but what I do know is that this is the lesson here this is the lesson and we know that with the um, mountain here the mountain of course poses restrictions and restrictions mean lessons but this is also a number 21 which is the world card and the world card does mean the ending of a cycle we've got 20 21 okay 20 and 21 so there is there is continuation here so something and this could also be that the world finds out about this that there is the knowledge of this so also secrets that have been kept are going to be shown and this could be another heavy lesson so this is in a sense it's as though someone's name is being dragged through the mud their if not their name their um their integrity their integrity yeah that's what i feel here I am going to leave it there. I do hope that it gave you a little bit of information. These messages do not resonate with everyone. So um, if they don't, then you need to also watch your moon and your rising sign, your Mars. If you are masculine, if you are feminine, then your Venus. All right, everyone, I want to leave it there. Thank you so much, dear Capricorn. Much love to all of you.